Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to take a look at the Jayco Jayfeather X17Z. This is also known as a hybrid or expandable unit, and it's definitely a, a great option for someone who's looking for something lightweight that still wants a lot of room, maybe able to sleep a lot of people. Uh, it also has a decent price point on it, so if you're looking, you know, maybe just to get into camping or you're stepping up from a uh, pop-up camper, or again, if you just like the idea of having the, the windows open at night and having the breeze coming through, then this is one you should definitely pay attention to. Uh, let's we'll start off kind of on the front here. So one of the things I really like about this floor plan, the way it's set up, is it's divided a little bit, which is great if you have a family that you're going camping with. Because up front, you kind of have the master bed here with the entertainment center. Then you have another bed in back, which is great for the kids. So the reason that I, I like it here, as I said, you have the jackknife sofa, which is directly across from the dinette. So that way, if you do have people over, if you're entertaining guests, everyone can sit right here. They can engage in conversation. And again, it just makes a, a very nice place to sit down and entertain. The jackknife sofa is a leatherette material, which is great because it's easy to clean. So if the kids have wet trunks or something, they're sitting here, it's easy to wipe up. They spill ice cream, no problem there either. It also does have these removable armrests, which are great. They just make sitting here a lot more comfortable. They're nothing fancy, basically just a piece of foam there. Uh, you know, obviously it uh, has some leatherette material around it, but again, it definitely serves its purpose. Other nice thing about a jackknife sofa is the fact you do have storage underneath. You can see that there. This is shared storage with the storage outside. So you have a couple different access points. I'll show you that when we go out there. This also does drop down into a bed. Right up above it here, you have a window for some natural light. Also gives you a view out to your campsite. You have an LED light here. Up top, you have the beautiful uh, the beautiful doors here. You have the tinted glass, which is cool that way. You know, the things you put in there you can't really see, which I personally like. Then when you open it up, you can see the storage there. So uh, whether you want to put food up here, or if you want to put plates, cups, uh, whatever you want, obviously that is your choice. So let's talk a minute about the bed up front. Cool thing, it's easy setup. All you have to do is drop it down. You have two cables there that can support over a thousand pounds. Weight is not a problem. The bed material itself is actually a vinyl. It's water repellent, which is awesome uh, as well. Once in a while, you will get some water on the inside here. That's completely normal. It's just condensation because it doesn't breathe. All you have to do is just crack the zipper a little bit and it will solve that issue. Uh, but again, it does repel water very well. So a great bed system here that Jayco utilizes. So we move over to this side. This is our dinette. As I previously said, it's straight across from the jackknife sofa. Excellent place to sit down, have a meal together, play cards, a board game, whatever it may be. This does drop down into a bed too. You simply remove these two legs right here. The table will sit down uh, right here on these rails. Take the back cushions. You'll just toss these right up top, squeeze it into place, and that will create the bed there. Now granted, it is not a huge bed, uh, not a giant sleeping space by any means, but it is great for children. Or if you have a pack and play, you can put that up there too. If you need to plug anything in, if you're in this seat over here, there's a plug-in directly underneath you. For this seat, you have this plug-in right over here. So take a look up top, you have storage going all across the top of the dinette there. LED light underneath as well as the window, that is an emergency exit too. You'll see the multimedia center right over to the side here, folks. This is cool, this is a DVD player, it's already pre-wired to the TV. Just throw a DVD in there and you are all set. It also is Bluetooth capable. It controls the speakers inside as well as the ones outside there. Uh, so that way if you want to listen to some music on your cell phone or tablet, you can connect to that via Bluetooth. Or maybe you've downloaded the latest episode of Stories from the Road podcast. You want to listen to that. Same concept, just hook up to it via Bluetooth and you are good to go. The connections for your TV are right along this wall right here. Note that it does have a 12 volt outlet there as well. So if you have a 12 volt TV, if you want to replace this one, you can take the 12 volt power, plug it in. Currently though, this TV is only 110, so it is plugged in there. You'll see you have your tank monitoring panel right here where your water pump as well as heater control is located there. The water heater does run off both LP and electric. You can turn on both of those at the same time for faster recovery. Directly beneath that is your thermostat. This controls your furnace, your heat only, as your AC unit is right up top here on the ceiling and that has the controls right on it. If you don't want to run AC, you'd rather just have the natural breeze come through here. You have this power vent fan. And folks, you open up uh, you know, some of the windows on either side of these beds, turn that guy on, and trust me, you will get an awesome breeze coming through here. 
You have the antenna right here for the TV. It is a WineGuard Razor antenna, low profile. You don't have to raise it up or down. Just turn it to find the best signal that we can get the over the air uh, digital channels. And the, again, the cool thing about that, you don't have to bring it down. You're not gonna forget about it. It's not gonna snap off. TV is located here. You can actually lift this up if you wanna spin it around so you can turn it nice and easy. Otherwise, this just locks it into place there. And directly underneath that is your Dometic fridge with the drop-down freezer compartment here. This unit also runs off propane and electric and has automatic switchover. The furnace you can see is right down below there. That is your direct vent furnace. Right across the way here is the kitchen. You have the microwave up top with your hood underneath, fully functional hood there with a light and a fan. You do have this Jayco magnet. You can move that uh, to the fridge, wherever else if you want. Just a nice little extra they threw in there. And over here to the side, you have some additional storage. LED light underneath to help brighten up your kitchen space. You will see your uh, single basin sink here with a high rise faucet. You have your window as well as the backsplash there. That backsplash gives it a nice aesthetic piece. Full size three burner cooktop right over here to the side with your oven underneath. You also have storage underneath there. Not a lot, but hey, it's better than nothing at all. And then right over here, you actually have some decent storage. And then you have the electrical outlet right up top in case you need to plug anything in in the kitchen. So you take a look at the bathroom here. You'll see right down there is your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room for you. Your toilet paper holder is mounted right here for, uh, for easy access. You see you have robe hooks all the way throughout. Couple over here by the shower so that we can hang up your towel. Or if you rock a robe, you can put your robe up there too. There's another one over by the sink for your hand towel. You have the vent fan up top on the ceiling to help moisture uh, escape out of the bathroom or anything else you need to get out of here in a hurry. And then right above the shower itself, you have the skylight. Uh, that lets in some natural light as well as gives you some additional headroom. You'll see the neo-angle shower with the shower curtain. You have a shelf along the top, uh, kind of like a little step there, a little bit lower and makes it easier to shave your legs. You have the chrome hand wand there too to make showering easier for you. Over to the side is a mirrored medicine cabinet. You have uh, the wood medicine cabinet rather than the plastic, which I really like. It looks a lot nicer, just built better. Right down underneath that is an electrical outlet to plug in your hair dryer, curling iron, whatever else you need. And then down below that is your sink top with storage underneath. Right in the back here is your rear bed. It's built the same as the one up front. You have your cables here, the shepherd's hook, teddy bear bunk series right there, and then the vinyl walls. You also have an electrical outlet over here to the side in case you need to plug in any electronics at night. You do have a vent right back here to help heat get to the back of the camper. And then you also have storage underneath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the J-Flight X17Z. Uh, so right here we have the bed. As I mentioned, you have that vinyl material here. It makes it a lot easier to clean. You can see the windows here, the screens rather, on all three sides. Probably my favorite part about the Jayco beds and something they have over a lot of other manufacturers is the way that the bed actually attaches to the wall here. Um, and the reason for that is because most of the hybrids, you have a lever system where it's very similar to like the back of toy haulers. You have to take this lever, pull it up, and pull it over to be able to drop the door down. While it's not too bad to drop it down, to put it back up, you have to be able to hold the bed up with one arm and then latch it with the other. And a lot of people just don't have the height or the upper body strength to do it. Jayco makes it a lot simpler. They have the handles that are nice and low right here. So what you'll see is you see uh, this little pillar protruding out right here. This will actually go up and attach into these jaws. So all you have to do is when the bed is up, you just take this handle, push it up like so, and that actually pulls it and secures it in place. Same thing to drop it down. You take the handle on either side, pull it down, the bed comes right down like that. So definitely a much easier system. If we take a look underneath here, you'll see your power tongue jack. This makes it a lot simpler to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle because you don't have to manually do it wearing out your arm. And then you also have a light on there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that, you have your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. And behind that yet a little bit further, you'll see you have rails here for your battery. Directly underneath that is your spare tire. Taking a little ways down a little bit further here, you will notice this one also has your uh, solar prep. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. 
So we come around to this side here, we can take a look right in there. Uh, you will notice that this is the shared storage uh, as underneath that trifle or the uh, jackknife sofa I had showed you inside. So you do have a couple different access points to that storage. Power awning on here, touch button to roll it out, same thing to have it go right back in. And then you also have the LED light strip so that way you have light at night. The roof on here does have the Magnum roof system, which is Jayco's patented system. Uh, essentially, they just do a couple things that make the roof a lot stronger than a lot of other manufacturers in this category. One is the fact that they uh, use oversized nail plates. They also use two by twos instead of one bys for your vertical supports. And then they screw everything instead of stapling it. On top of that extra strong roof, they put a Diflex 2 material, which is an upgraded membrane. It's a fleeceless TPO, which takes all the advantages of TPO and your rubber roof, combine them together with very few downsides. So basically what that means to you is that it's not going to chalk. It also doesn't uh, have nearly as bad uh, the black streaks coming down the side. So that way your unit stays a lot cleaner. Plus it has very minimal maintenance. You have two outside speakers here. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. Uh, as I mentioned previously, that is Bluetooth capable. That way you can sit right out here and be able to control that. Speaking of that, if you notice right underneath your awning here, you don't have any vents. So this is all great usable camp space. And if you want to cook outside, you can do that too. You see the rails right here. This unit does come with a grill. You can mount the grill right there. If you take a look right underneath, you will see the propane quick connect. That way you can hook it up and the grill will feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front instead of having to bring the small little green ones. This right here is an outside TV mount, so you can uh, have TV out here if you want. You will have two 110 outlets right there to be able to plug that TV in, as well as your cable or satellite outlet right there. Even if you don't use TV out here, folks, obviously you can use the electrical outlets for anything else that you need them for. Right down below that, you have beautiful aluminum alloy wheels on here. That really does help the appearance and aesthetic of an RV. If you've ever seen steel wheels, they're generally not very attractive. They can be pretty ugly. The aluminum look nice from the factory and they will continue to look nice year after year because they won't rust. Right here is the entrance to the RV, two foldable steps. You can see this one is nice and low, uh, which is definitely a good thing. You also have the grab handle right there just to make it a little bit easier to get in. And if you can see kind of that orange light down there, you also have a step light. That way you don't trip and fall and hurt yourself during the night. Here on the off door side, you have a storage spot for your sewer hose, so you can just slip it right in there. And right down underneath is, a de or is where your detachable 30 amp power cord will plug in at. Coming up a little bit further, this is your termination. Both your black and gray tank valves are there. That is where they will both dump out at. Cable and satellite input right up above that. Black tank flush right over here, so that when you're done dumping your tanks, you hook a hose up here. And then there's sprayers built in to help wash out anything that got left behind. Your uh, water connections are right up here. This top one will be for your freshwater tank. So if you plan on doing boondocking, you'll want to uh, obviously fill that up. If you have city water connection, that will be located there. And then you have an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco Jayfeather X17Z. If you're interested in this hybrid travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.